Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our topical water analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, May 17 to 19, 2021. And this is now our usual weather analysis since the storm Krising has dissipated last Saturday over the area of Palawan. So we are back to our normal uh, twice a week weather update for the Philippine Islands. But in the coming weeks, there could be some tropical cyclone formation based on what we see on the current computer models, particularly over the West Philippine Sea. So let's begin. Here's the uh, latest uh, graph set beginning today, Monday, until tomorrow, Tuesday. We have the prevailing easterly surface wind flow. These are warm uh, winds from the uh, Pacific or the Philippine Sea. During some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly over the Bicol region, eastern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao, that includes the areas of Siargao and Dinagat Islands and northern Karaga region. So uh, these uh, uh, rain showers and thunderstorms will be a common occurrence every noontime, afternoon or evening as we move into the last week of May and we might be nearing the start of the uh, rainy season, which is expected usually during the last week of May or the early weeks of uh, June. So it depends on the announcement of Pagasa and usually it's uh, it begins with the local rainfall for five consecutive days. If most parts of the Philippine Islands has been uh, experiencing rainfall for five consecutive days in a certain area or region, the uh, start of the uh, rainy season will be announced by the Weather Bureau of Pagasa and also the shift of the winds from the southeast and then later from the southwest and the uh, uh, location or the semi-permanent low pressure area over uh, central China or uh, what we call as the thermal low. These are land-based low pressure areas which could trigger the shift of the winds blowing from the southwest and the start of the southwesterly wind flow and eventually the habagat in the coming months. So uh, please take note of that. And also we have here uh, uh, a broad area of intertropical convergence zone with two uh, surface troughs, one here over to the west of Palau and another one here over to the uh, west of Chuk state in central Micronesia. So these two troughs, we are going to uh, keep an eye on that for possible uh, formation into a low pressure area. But uh, luckily for the past uh, uh, 24 hours, the uh, European and the American models only shows a possible formation of a tropical cyclone over the West Philippine Sea. And likely this trough will traverse Mindanao and move into the West Philippine Sea. And the formation is likely to be there within the next 5 to 10 days. And uh, the uh, formation of a cyclone here for the past few days, which is being mentioned by the American model, is no longer there. So they are shifting it over the West uh, Philippine Sea or the South China Sea and the European model keeps on suggesting the formation here so the American model has already shifted its formation over to the West of the, the Philippines so we will keep an eye on that formation but since the track is moving towards the West or West Northwest it might not be a threat anymore to the Philippine Islands but the uh, formation of this uh, LPA here next week or next week and might trigger some southwesterly surface wind flow and bring some lots of thunderstorms which could signal the start of the rainy season. So we will keep you updated in coming days. And if you look at our fast animation, you can clearly see here the IDZZ and the uh, two troughs. And if we uh, look at our zoom in satellite animation for the past six hours, beginning this afternoon through the early evening, we are observing some uh, localized thunderstorms, uh, bringing some rain showers over the uh, Bicol region, particularly here in Naga, Camarines Sur, Camarines Norte, and some portions of uh, Bicol region, also includes Catanduanes, and also over the areas of uh, Eastern Visayas, that includes summer provinces and later provinces as well. And here over Mindanao, the northeastern portions will be also affected by the uh, easterlies. But much of the thunderstorms are focused over the central 
uh, and western, including the southern portions of uh, Mindanao, as well as Davao Oriental, brought about by the local convective. Okay, these are uh, strong thunderstorms, which uh, ge generates heavy rainfall over that area at this time of the year. And uh, as we look at our rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days, beginning today, Monday, until Wednesday, as you can see, the uh, rainfall activity is uh, focused over the areas of uh, Mindanao, including the Sulu Archipelago, portions of Northern Palawan, uh, some portions of Visayas, particularly Southern Cebu, and also over the eastern sections of Eastern Visayas, but uh, areas like the Bicol region will st still have some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly also here over in northern Quezon and over the mountainous areas of central and northern Luzon, including the Sambales mountain range. So these are the forecasts for the next three days. So much of the rainfall brought about by the thunderstorms are clearly uh, concentrated over the areas of Mindanao and eastern Visayas as well as some portions of central and western Visayas. So before we end this update for today, we are going to move forward for the next 5 up to 10 days to let you know if there are some tropical cyclone development. We'll move forward this uh, on Thursday. This is the European model. Uh, Friday, Saturday, you can see here that the winds is now shifting from the south and southwest over the Thailand uh, Gulf or the Gulf of Thailand because of the formation of a thermal low over China. And on Sunday, the southwesterly surface wind flow starts to kick in. This is the first blow of this wind system affecting the Kalayan Island Group and uh, Palawan beginning next Sunday. That will be on May 23rd. While there will be a formation of a shallow LPA here near Palau, nothing serious yet. And on uh, Monday 24, here comes the thermal low moving south. Here comes the southwesterly surface wind flow and a possible formation of a low pressure tour over the South China Sea. And uh, around two, around uh, uh, Tuesday next week, May 25, we have an early uh, glimpse of a possible active low pressure area over the West Filipino South China Seas. So uh, here comes the uh, southwesterly and southerly surface wind flow and on Wednesday it will move towards eastern Vietnam making landfall over there. So so far it's still quiet over the Philippine Islands, variable winds, some thunderstorms in the afternoon and the evening and a very weak uh, uh, Rotation of winds here, but not yet a low pressure area. There, can, there might be one here over to the south of Guam. This might be an interest as we move towards the last week of May. Most likely it will be on June that we might be seeing lots of uh, formation when it comes to tropical cyclones. So far, that's the latest from the European model. Let's take a look at the American model. This is different. Because uh, although it's still the same with the European model, some formation over the West Philippine Sea, uh, but here uh, on Thursday and Friday there might be a shallow, uh, there will be some trough passing over Bicol region on Saturday this weekend on the American model. And on Monday, here we go, the formation of a uh, tropical uh, cyclone to the west of Luzon over the West Philippine Sea brought about by the trough that traversed the country but this is not yet sure since the American model are always aggressive when it comes to formation of tropical cyclones so Tuesday, Wednesday it's now the same with the European model the formation of a tropical cyclone or the active LPA over the West Philippine Sea and uh, there might be some formation also over the uh, uh, Caroline Islands or the uh, Micronesian Islands over the Western Pacific and so far we are going to observe that in the coming uh, week especially next week for the possible formation of this uh, tropical cyclone to the west of our country but generally speaking as we move into next week and then we, there will be lots of thunderstorms brought about by the uh, approaching onset of the rainy season or wet season for the Philippine Islands especially we are located along the tropics, okay?
So there you go. That's the latest for today, Monday until Wednesday. And we will be uh, returning back on Wednesday to give you more update from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with a wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.